Well, it's 4.15 in the morning and I'm on my way to Alaska. Uh, but last night I went and saw Brightburn. And here's my first initial thoughts. How do you take a superhero horror movie, really great concept, and make it as boring and predictable as possible? I know, Brightburn. So for those of you unaware, Brightburn is the new movie by James Gunn. Uh, and its concept is basically what happens, the basic story of Superman, where he comes to Earth and is discovered by, you know, farmers and raised and is thought of as good and taught all the right things. Well, in this one, he's an alien, all right, but he turns completely evil and he's unstoppable, he's Superman. <laughs> uh, and basically the story starts off with him already being like 14 years old. Um, and there really is no like growth pattern in this movie. He discovers that he has super strength um, it's not a gradual thing where he starts to turn evil or he starts to turn, uh, you know, hey, I can do this. Why am I listening to other people, you know, like a 14 year old might do? Um, instead, it's like aliens from a, his spaceship that they have hidden under the barn is talking to him and taking him over and uh, basically telling him to take, basically take over the world. So they didn't send him to Earth as in Superman to protect him. Uh, and to protect Earth, they sent him to take over the Earth. And uh, everything you see in the trailer is basically the movie. So you're seeing everything in that trailer that you're going to see in this movie. There are no real twists. There real, really are no you know, plot narratives. You see the lady in the diner being attacked. You see the lady in the diner in the trailer. You see the guy being dropped from a car. Or in, you see a guy being dropped in a car. You see a plane crash. You see a plane crash. It's the exact, it's, it's like bit for bit. And it's, it's so predictable that I, I was kind of really looking forward to this movie and uh, excited about the concept. And they went nowhere with it. They absolutely did nothing with this concept. Um, it's a jump scare as much as possible. Oh look, he's behind you, look, he's, uh, he's right there, oh, the light's dim, oh, look, he's behind you, oh, the light's dim, he's gone. That kind of thing, because he's Superman, he can go as fast as he wants. It's, I, I, I really did want to love this movie, I really was kind of, I didn't go see Aladdin, the big movie opening this weekend, so I could see this movie, and I regretted it ten minutes into the movie. It's not original, it both myself and Paul were falling asleep during this film. It was like, there was just nothing to it. It was bland. I hate to say a horror movie is bland, but this was bland. You have a superhero horror film that went nowhere. It's, it, it could have been any slasher movie anywhere. It, it really was, you know, Freddy Krueger. Uh, could have done this. It, it didn't matter. Like, oh, oh, he's Superman. He's an alien. That's the interesting concept. Well, okay, he's he's super strong and he's unkillable. <laughs> like Friday the 13th. What's the difference? He can fly? Uh, thanks. Um, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, kind of really disappointed. James Gunn, you let me down on this one. Um, let's hope you don't let us down with Guardians of the Galaxy 3 because, oh boy, I was so rooting for this movie and here's, here's my choice. If you're going to miss a movie, this is the one to miss. See anything out there. See Booksmart, see Aladdin, go see Endgame again, even see Detective Pikachu, which I still wasn't a big fan of, but by far, uh, Brightburn is definitely one of those you can wait for Netflix. Or even better, skip it all together. <laughs>